A mob attacked and vandalized an ISKCON temple in Bangladesh's Noakhali district. According to the community, one of its members was killed. The official Twitter handle of Bangladesh's ISKCON community said, and I quote, It is with great grief that we share the news of an ISKCON member, Partha Das, who was brutally killed yesterday by a mob of more than 200 people. His body was found in a pond next to the temple. We call on the government of Bangladesh for immediate action in this regard. The ISKCON Twitter handle further stated, and I quote again, the Iskon temple and devotees were violently attacked today by a mob in Noakhali, Bangladesh. The temple suffered significant damage and the condition of a devotee remains critical. We call on the government of Bangladesh to ensure the safety of all Hindus and bring the perpetrators to justice. The alleged attack on the temple took place despite assurances by the Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina of strict action after recent incidents of communal violence in which members of the minority Hindu community and Hindu temples have been targeted in Bangladesh. On Friday, one man named Jatan Kumar Saha was killed and 17 others were injured in an attack in the Begum Ganj Upazila or area of Bangladesh's Noakhali district during Durga Puja celebrations. The mob attacked, vandalized and looted Hindu households, businesses and several temples. On Wednesday, anti-minority communal violence broke out in several places in Bangladesh. Several puja venues were vandalized in the area of Chanpur, Chittagong, Ghazipur, Bandarban and several other areas. The clashes resulted in several casualties as well. This after unconfirmed reports that a holy book had been desecrated. Members of the ISKCON community are staging a demonstration in Noakhali demanding protection of the minority community. We on's correspondent Lakmina Jasmine Soma has sent us more details in this next report coming from Dhaka. Take a look. We see such attacks in Bangladesh every year during Durga Puja. Analyzing this incident, analysts find three main motives uh, or reasons behind the attack. Uh, the first reason is political revenge. Most Hindus believe that if the Aumli government is in power, Hindus can live a much safer life. To break this uh, belief and prove the ruling Aumli government a failure, supporters of religion-based political parties like Jamaat Islam, which is already banned by the election commission, carry out such attacks. Uh, the second reason is communalism. There are some Islamic extremist uh, groups who hate people of other religions all the time. And obviously they are pro-Pakistan who want to see Bangladesh as a fully Islamic state. They try to establish their power as well as presence during the big festival Durga Puja. Third, such attacks are carried out to achieve personal interests. For example, some people resort to such uh, violence to dominate their territory or to occupy the lands of neighboring Hindus. However, top leaders of the Hindu community feel uh, that attacks on the Hindu community do not go to trial in most cases. As a result, uh, criminals become more motivated uh, and such incidents happen again and again every year. This is Lakmina Jasmin Shoma for Yon in Dhaka. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.